What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to turn an image of a car into a flat design vector illustration in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. First, I create a 1920 by 1080 pixels document with RGB color mode and 300 PPI. I go to the swatches panel, click on this icon, and then click other library. Then I imported my color swatch for today's drawing. You can find it in the description below. Let's copy the reference image to the canvas and center it horizontally and vertically. Then I scale up it a bit like this. Next, I go to the Layers panel and double-click on the layer to open the layer option. After renaming, I enable the template mode and keep the transparency as 50%. Let's start to draw the outlines of the wheels. First, I create a new layer. I deselect the fill color and select the black for the stroke. Then I increase the width to 4 and enable round cap and edge. I use the ellipse tool to draw the wheel. Use the shift and alt or option keys while using the ellipse tool. It will help you to create circles. I use two pixels as width for thin stroke circles. Then I select the pen tool and draw tire treads. Next, I use the width tool to create a taper shape for that line. Using direct selection tool, I move this anchor point a bit to left. Select that line again. Select Rotate tool and click on the center point while holding Alt T or Option key to open the rotate panel. Increase the angle to 9 degrees and click on Copy. After that, press and hold Control or Command key and press D to repeat the last action, like that you can create tire treads. I'm using the same technique again to create the inner parts of the rim. Then select all and make a copy. Okay, next let's draw the outline of the body parts in a new layer. Here I want an offset path, so I go to the object menu, path and offset path, then I set offset to 8 and click OK, then I delete the unwanted lines. I use shape builder tool to remove unwanted line. For that click on the line while holding the alt or option key. Let's continue the drawing.
After creating a new layer, I move it below the wheel outline layer. Then I copy all the wheel outlines by clicking and dragging this little square while holding the Alt of the Option key. I delete one wheel. Then, I am going to delete these treads. For that, I click on two or more lines and then click on this icon to select all the similar objects. Now, I can delete all of them. After deleting the unwanted lines, I add the base colors to the wheel. Here I move larger objects to the back. It will bring the small objects to the scene. Also, you can use the control or command plus bracket keys to change the stack position of the objects. Now I click on this to show the outline again. Next, I click on this circle and press Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus F two times. This will make two copies in front. Okay, now I select both circles and delete unwanted shapes using the Shape Builder tool. Here again, I create two copies of the circle. Resize a bit, select both, and click on the minus front icon in the Pathfinder panel. This will cut the below shape from the front shape. Easy right. Using these methods, you can create the shadows of the wheel. Finally, I copy the same color objects to the next wheel. Now we can color the body of the car. For that, I use the same methods. Create a new layer below the body outline, then copy the outlines from the outline layer and delete unwanted lines. After that, I select all the lines and go to the Object Menu, Path, and Outline Stroke. After that, click on the Unit icon in the Pathfinder panel. Right-click on the shape and ungroup it. Finally, right-click again and click on Release Compound Path. After that, I delete the outer shape. Then I apply the base colors to the shapes. Then I add shadows and highlights to get more details in the car.
That's it. This is the process of turning a reference image to vector illustration using Adobe Illustrator. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments. Have a great day, everyone, and cheers.